Welcome back. So that's where we're turning our attention to agri-commodities. Okwe Miyoguntade, Senior Investment Officer with Financial Derivatives Company, joins me now to talk about uh, all of this. Uh, good morning to you, Okwe Mi. It's great to have you in the studio. Good morning, Harriet. So we're seeing domestic prices uh, for you know, for the food rising and uh, one would have expected that, you know, with the festivities over, prices will begin to taper down. Well, the only commodity that is affected or has been affected by um, the fact that festivities are over is rice. Um, rice used to go for about uh, 11.5 and now it's currently at 8.5. But other commodities in the market, such as uh, flour and sugar, are actually going up because of our exchange rates. Um, our exchange rate pressure. Um, the fact that most of these fast-moving consumer goods, um, the purchasing managers are finding it more difficult to get access to the foreign exchange they need to purchase these commodities, adding to the fact that um, adding to the fact that we know that the Naira is depreciating against the dollar at the parallel market. This is, this is, so what we have in the market right now is most of these purchasing managers are selling off their old stocks which they were able to get at about, uh, at about one say 197198 but looking at what's currently going on with the, this recent role with the BDC is not being able to um, banning um, rather not selling off dollars to the BDCs it's going to become increasingly more difficult for these purchasing managers to get access to the forex they need to purchase their raw materials so now how does that you know looking at that maybe food prices should continue to to rise then for the inflation rate for December FDC is projecting uh, it's a coming at 9.5 percent even though we're seeing a, a tapering in food prices well yes the reason why is because you look at the month of december there were a couple of there are a couple of factors driving that um, that um, prediction the fact that we had full scarcity right from the end of november to pretty much the whole of december and then the fact that we had the festive season there was an increase in demand for food commodities this is what contributed to our our projection to 9.5, inching it up to 9.5. Okay, so let's look at global food prices versus uh, domestic food prices. It seems as if uh, uh, that's also a little bit mixed. Yes, um, what we're having in the global commodities market is that most of um, these commodities are coming down and most of it is driven by the fact that there's ample supply of these commodities in the market, coupled with the fact that the dollar is strengthening against most of this um, these importers or importers of these commodities, the fact that um, the dollar is strengthening and this is making it increasingly more expensive for them to import these commodities and then you have a weakening demand, there's generally a slowdown in the global economy, so you have a weaker demand. So all this together is contributing to the fact that our global commodity prices are coming down. But this isn't playing in the Nigerian market because we have this exchange, access to foreign exchange problem. So. But then you're also projecting an increase in, in the price of bread, for instance, uh, because flour will be rising from about 7,000 where it is now to 9,000 naira on, on February 1st. Yes, it will be rising to 9,000 naira. And th the reason why is because we have this, um, we, most, of the, most of the users of these commodities are trying to factor in the fact that they're going to definitely have issues with having access to foreign exchange. So trying to factor this in in such a way that they'll be able to pass it on to consumers and consumers can prepare in time for this price change. Well, so that means bread is likely to go off the market. For those of us who like to have sandwiches uh, first thing in the morning or do a little bit of bread mix in the afternoon or even towards the evening, so bread is off the menu. Well, bread can go off the menu because <sighs> bread is a staple. It's almost like you can't do without bread. Bread is almost like water in Nigeria, so you can't do without bread. It can go off. I think um, what would likely happen is uh, most consumers will have to adjust their expenditure profile, so to speak, to compensate for the increase in price of bread. No, don't worry, I'm still not. I'm still not. You know, I'm not. I'm still not going to buy that because you know, there's some people that don't necessarily have to go to the bakery to buy their bread. Some of them bake it at home. So, in other words. You can't even bake your breads at home. You can't even, if you go to the big bakery, you might be buying um, what um, bread usually sold for 250 naira, 300 naira. Yeah. Well, if you want to bake your bread at home, you could bake it at home, but you still get your flour at the more expensive price of 9,000 naira. That's not comforting, not me, but no, then it's not. let's... Uh, so difficult times. Uh, yeah, so difficult times, even with regards to food. And so, yes, most likely when general inflation figures do come out, we might also see continued upward tra um, trajectory yes we do expect some, i do expect january ex um, inflation to continue going up based on what is currently happening right now specifically because of the access to foreign exchange keep our fingers crossed and keep our eyes on the market but thank you so much for coming in thank today. you for having me